Oh yeah, welcome to another episode of the Tech Preacher with Erica That's what I'm talking about Wow, you know what, we got a good one for you today You know what I'm saying, because I This was a subject that I wanted to touch bases on uh, And Erica is back I'm back. <laughs> Hello You know, this was an interesting week mm-hmm. uh, And uh, by this being an interesting week I remember last podcast we talked about this that you was excited for the Nicki Minaj concert, yes, right? Yes, I was very excited. And, and unfortunately, very, something happened. Yes, unfortunately, Nicki took sick and, and she postponed her concert. So there was no concert oh, this week, unfortunately. No oh. You know, but health comes first so yes. it was doctor's orders that she could not perform so unfortunately you know it was no <laughs> no 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 Nicki Minaj yeah, no hype this or nothing like did. that the barb still got together ah, we went okay. downtown it we went it. to um, a new place called hide and seek oh and we had a blast. We listened to all her songs. Oh, and we, so y- y'all had a mini concert. Yeah, we still had a little concert. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah. So, and we still had a ball. You know, everybody came together. It's always a time when all the barbs <laughs> come together. <laughs> it's so fun. It's like we just get each other. It's just a bond. So yeah. that was fun. But she said, um, hopefully in May sometime, mm. she will reschedule her um, New Orleans concert. So, man, I was, you know, at the, I, I, I thought about this. I say when, um, when Nikki canceled the, the concert, the, all I thought about was all the bar fans was like, y'all, everybody was walking around with their pink hair. We went to the mall. Everybody had pink braids, bangs, pink hair, long nails, blonde hair. You know, everybody was ready. Everybody. But listen, y'all, we still did our looks. Uh-huh, uh-huh. We still did our looks that we were going to do for the concert. We still did them and we went outside mm. and still celebrate it. So everybody that had their new outfits on. Mm-hmm. And, and I had mine on. I, I, <laughs> if you want to see, go to my Instagram. Go to Instagram if y'all want to see her. Yo, I look so cute, I'm not going to lie. I had my hair like this and I had uh-huh. like a pink little crop top, my biker shorts. See, I, so see that, I, when I saw, the, when I saw the, 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 the picture, I saw, I saw yeah. the picture and I was like, oh, Lord, I am I so old. Why? Because I, I, you know, I, I, you know, it's like looking at you grow, you know, yeah. grew up, like you know, what I'm saying, like that's my daughter. I mean, Thank she's so you. beautiful, like you know, what I'm saying, and I was like, God, that is, that is so. Yeah. I just feel so blessed and proud. Oh, <laughs> yeah, my pictures came out so good. I was looking at the pictures. I was like, Ooh, this looks like really good quality. I edited this real good. I'm like, he gonna be proud. Yes, yes, yes. So it was so yes. The, we but, still celebrated on her behalf. But so they did come out. They say that it's a possibility that uh, she will reschedule in May. In May, yes. Yeah. Yes. So hopefully. I will be getting a new outfit, a new wig, <laughs> and I'll be there. So let me ask you a question. When, when, when you, uh, did they refund the? No, they, oh, they didn't. I think maybe you could have requested a refund, mm. but they didn't initially offer a refund or anything like that. They just said, "Oh, it's just postponed, and oh. we'll keep you updated." Well, that's that's different. So, I yeah. mean, uh, I, I think that uh, that the true bar fans probably yeah. didn't want no refund. They just no. wanted to wait till maybe the mm-hmm. next. When she come back and you know we were just so ready. I know pumped up. We were so we got ready on a Monday, y'all. The (laughs) concert was on a Monday at eight. We were ready. We mentally prepared ourselves for this concert. Like Oh man. We knew. Like it it was it was gonna be like fantastic. I I already know Mm -hmm. that it was gonna be like great. And I I, I figured that we would have a wonderful story, a lot of stories about it. But it's okay, y'all. Stay tuned because I'm going to be there. <laughs> Listen, I, I don't even care about a refund or anything. I'm like, keep it. Keep it. Just let me know when a new date is. I can get an outfit and my nails are done and stuff. Oh, well, you know, you got to get your yeah. nails done. It's, it's a complete reset. So you got to mm-hmm. get your nails done and everything. Yeah, I got them done for this. Oh. Uh, uh, which the stones and stuff fell off. But oh. Still that's, a little, that's still beautiful. You know, they cute. Yeah. Thank you. You see, you should take your mama. 
<laughs> she does not like these cuts. She she look at my nails. And these nails are short to me. She's like, they're too long. You can't do nothing. I'm like, girl, usually my nails are like yeah, way out there. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think your mom would be cute with yeah, some flashy. If she just let me style her for a whole day, a <laughs> boy. I, I don't know. I mean, I, I just. I just think that you should, but but our nails do be looking good though. Yeah, and Nikki actually came out with like a press online Whoa. with like the XXL nails and stuff. Like oh, that. super dope! Yeah, so it's it, that's dope. a that's our own uh, that's our name brand. Yeah, it's like ah. Pink Friday nails. Ooh. Yeah, it's fire. So I, you could you could sport with that. Yeah, because you press on, you glue it on, pop it off when you're done. Because they're like really long, you can't like really keep them on. So, no Nicki Minaj, no Barb's. Well, y'all still had fun Barb's because y'all had the, y'all went to the, the, the after party and, right. and and stuff like that. And I bet you it was an all night flight. Yes, for sure. We had a blast. <laughs> we had a blast. So I, I wanted to 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 talk about this uh, because as we in twenty twenty four and and me and your mom been married for so long, I look at newer relationships like you know I don't. I don't know if I can ever do do it. What's the as like, as the young generation come up and I see all kinds of scandals and you know people do yeah. things. What's the expectations of the younger generation when when y'all meet somebody or a uh, new boyfriend? Uh, you know, you somebody walk up to you and say, "Hey, how you doing? My name is so and so." I don't know if they yeah. do that anymore, but I'm just yeah. Well, nowadays it's hey, can I have your Instagram? Oh, really? Yeah. That's guy's way of like trying to talk to you nowadays. Like, oh, can I have your Instagram? They don't even like say how my name is so and so. No, really? no, no. So I heard the... his name on the news last night and wouldn't even know because he they don't say their names. It's Instagram names now. <sighs> wow. Yeah. So that's that's the new way of 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 men approaching women, women as far yeah. as. And they'll wait till you post something on your story and then try and shoot their shot. Real in your DMs. Mm-hmm. So that's, that's usually how it happens. So that's the new era of, of of a guy trying to attract a female. Yes. No kid. No. Hold on. Wait. Hold. On. I gotta take me a sip on this. Wait yeah, a minute, I'm gonna on. take one too because I hate it here. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute. Hold on. Sorry. So the so that's the. I remember. Okay. So when 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 you know a guy mm-hmm. see a, a young lady. You know, he like he want to shoot his sh- shine shot. on the right, shoot his shot. <laughs> he go up to him and say, how you doing? Mm-hmm. You know, you look beautiful today. Uh, mm-hmm. My name is. They don't even compliment you no more. Really? Not too much. Ah, this new era. They just look at you real lustful and <laughs> X for your Instagram. I wish guys still like it, it, send flowers to you. They don't job, do that? But the note, some of them do, but you got to be like deep in already. You know, it's not like they come off like right off the bat. You know, like when a guy is like interested in a girl and he's like, he just wants to do anything to just like put a smile on her face. They don't really think of it like that nowadays. It's like you got to be locked in with them before they <sighs> do all of that. You know, that is and weird. That sucks. That's why I'm single, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, the I, I remember the old school way, you know, uh, again, like I said, you know, guy approaching female, he, he find her attractive. And, well, first of all, guy, you look at the fingers to see, if, you know, mm-hmm. she's married. That's that's kind that's of the like sneaky the way, thing. right? Yeah. Uh, and, you know, they, they, how you doing? Beautiful. Um, my name is, you know, so-and-so. Mm-hmm. Um, see, in New Orleans, they just, was Am red? What? Ah! <laughs> that's a... Uh, See, I, I guess that's I couldn't. It'd be difficult to date for mm-hmm. for for guys older older, mm-hmm. older guys because we we have no clue of how to go about things. Yeah, yeah. Because I mean, it's very different. <sighs> guys, they just have no game. No, no game. <laughs> Y'all suck. <laughs> just kidding. There's a lot of great guys out there. You know. Very Kinda, few. Very few. What, but, man, what happened to the younger generation? Like, the guys the guys usually have, used to have, you know, the respect, mm-hmm. right? The respect where they could, yeah, you know. Yeah, like, they see a beautiful girl and they're like, yeah. I want to treat her right. Yes. Dinner. Okay, so yeah. so let's get to the part where it's, okay, mm-hmm. the guy shot his shot and he got your Instagram and he 
DM'd you and you, you know, say, well, you know what, I'm going to give them a try. Y'all call each other. I don't, do y'all even call each other or y'all um, just text each other? How they- well, yeah, I guess it depends on the guy because some guys kind of give like security cash. These guys aren't that bold what? nowadays. They're oh. not that confident nowadays. You know? So they... <laughs> <laughs> they don't just, you they, know, take charge of things and show dominance in a appreciation, respectful, respectful way, way. You know? They don't really do that. It's just like, I think guys just be... I don't know. I don't know what's up with them. I can't figure it out. And I won't even try to figure it out. I just eliminate the ones that's... That is so weird because you know you Not would think confident. you would think that um, what us older generation that tr- that teached our kids mm-hmm. the right things to do. And you know what I would say? Okay, like from my age range, mm-hmm. I'm describing guys like more of my age range. Mm-hmm. Right, the, the, the twenty one to twenty five like year old. 20, yeah, twenty one to like twenty five. Mm-hmm. Yeah range um but guys that's like maybe like a little older like third i mean well not well like 28 like hitting 30 type they're a little bit more More serious serious, kind of know like more so what they i wouldn't i wouldn't really date a guy that's (laughs) younger than me or my (laughs) age uh but be just because of the maturity level (sighs) and just how it is nowadays just guys just don't really they don't I, have it in them. The, I did. It is so yeah. weird to hear that yeah. because you would think, you know, for us older guys that that taught the younger generation all respect. And listen, I see it now. I mean, the, the younger generation is totally different. They don't respect the elders. Yeah, uh, they don't. Very I, sad. You know, back then, when when you see a, a, a elderly lady, you know, uh, coming out the mm-hmm. door, I mean, they a guy would just the open the hold the door. They don't do yeah. that. Or, or see a woman. Pumping gas, pumping gas, or something, or like, something that. like that. Yes, no, uh, guys. Psh, I wish <laughs> the, you would <laughs> that was sit so... there and try and let me pump or pay for gas ever. That's like, but the, the, you just think that they don't know, or they just don't care, or they've never been taught. I don't know what it is. Ah, it's weird. Because I'm pretty sure your mama didn't taught you how yes. to do certain things. I think it's just not in them. So, so they my mom, my mama to. taught me, along with my grandmother, my mom. She taught us, you know, respect a woman. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, open the door. Yeah. Uh, don't disrespect a woman. Don't hit yeah. a woman. And that's why <laughs> it's important to raise like your daughters with you know seeing that kind of stuff because of what you do and what I've seen you do I would never let a man do anything less than that like exactly because it is a standard thing I mean listen I I believe that you know and I I know that they have women that doesn't do themselves right Mm -hmm. but they started lowering their standards I think you know uh, know, for us guys we we supposed to cherish a a woman yeah we supposed to honor a woman respect Mm -hmm. a woman yeah and you know uh everything else in between especially if you want to make that woman some somebody that you want to be with forever yeah and i i also think guys know that but just the way our generation is and the girls you know and how some of the girls may carry themselves and stuff like that. I think that plays a major part in why guys kind of <laughs> treat certain, you know, yeah. I don't know. Like, it's, it's, Do you think, do you think that, um, you know, the girls have, obviously the, the, the girls have lowered their standard, but do you think that, I, I, and I'm talking from a guy perspective, I think some guys do get um, turned off when they see a, a, a female and she have multiple children, multiple baby daddies. Okay, yeah. I think that at that point, you, you know, she's not that type of, I think that's a turn off for a lot of men. It is. And it's also understandable. You know. Yeah, because, you know, I mean, you, you think about this. If, if, if a woman had to say, because I've dated back then mm-hmm. before your mom, I dated a female that had three kids. Mm-hmm. It was a horrible situation, yeah. You know, because you have to deal with 
you know, the baby daddies. You have to, and which they was pretty cool, even though they pulled me to the side and they told me some detrimental stuff that they went on in their relationship as far as, you know, her, her attitude and stuff like that. Yeah. But I it, I brushed yeah. it off. I brushed it off and I said, you know what, well, let me learn for myself. And believe it or not, nine times out of ten, most likely the stuff that they told me. It's a me, sticky situation. It, it was true. But yeah. it was like, you know, you look at a, I look at a woman that have multiple children, that have multiple baby daddies. I don't, I look at her as a, a bad situation. Like, yeah. I, I understand people can reset their lives. Because it shows like, Bad decision making. Bad decision making, right. Yeah. Right. It does say something about the character of a person a little bit. Even a man that has like multiple baby, oh, yeah. baby mean, moms and stuff and the yeah. child's two and then you got a one year old and then <laughs> a, a, a six month yeah, old. All of that is red flags. I, I mean, you know, and I do hear the story that, that they do have men that have five, six kids, four different baby mamas. I, mean, I, I I know from a woman perspective that had to be a complete turn off, especially yes, when absolutely. you when you start asking questions, you meet them, you, you ask broke questions. up all these homes. <laughs> you say, "Well, what is how it? How did it not work with how, all these people? How did it not work?" And that that and is why would you have a child with someone that you and, know. be irresponsible like that? That you know you you wouldn't you know commit to or you know could raise a child with. Right. In the same household, because that's important. I think people, too, they've normalized, oh, it doesn't, it, it's not that important for kids to grow up in the same household. It's, which it's it really is. It's, it's important. In ways that somebody who didn't wouldn't understand. Right. You know, and, it's very important. It, and it, then it all depends on the the relationship that the mother and the father had, maybe they wasn't committed. Yeah, maybe they weren't committed from the beginning and just being irresponsible and irresponsible. just brought a child into the world. But that still says something about your both of y'all, both y'all character, right? So you know, you know. Uh, but <clears throat> I think, and, and listen, I can understand. You know, uh, a, a female in the mm-hmm. earlier days might have had a child, one child, okay? yeah, and you know she raised that child pretty good, respectful. Yeah. And she, I feel like one, yeah, I think you can one, give a little grace depending on the situation, of course. Did two become a bit? Uh, 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 two is like, okay. Borderline, you. right? Yeah. The, but three? <laughs> now, and, and you're not with none of those baby daddies, and you, you're the outside partying, doing your big one, and da 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 and you looking for a man? Yeah, that's... You, and then you're outside looking for a man. You're exact. Boy, we partying and drinking, <clears throat> and, and so it's, it's just giving more irresponsible vibes. Because, so, I mean... If, but if, that's if, a conversation a lot of people... I, I know, but but even, even when you look at, okay, this say a man wanted to, I mean, accept that the, the, that the lady have multiple kids, mm-hmm. okay... So now at this point, <laughs> it's how, how does that, that right? So how does <laughs> I how can does only that promise work? Promise you, it's it's something up. Either he needs somewhere to stay. <laughs> <laughs> so, so he look, he looking for help too, huh? Yeah, both of y'all are looking for help. So she needs somebody. <laughs> uh, he needs somewhere to lay his head at, and. I mean, I think I think we are, are in the economy now that two, everybody's looking everybody for looking for a little help and, and two two incomes work. Hey, one household, one household, two incomes you works out. You can make out. it work. You Y'all can make get it along work. a little bit. The kids might be bad, but hey, you can thug it out. And you know what? <laughs> the, the, the thing about having, you know, uh, a, a, a woman with multiple kids that's not yours. Mm-hmm. You know, for a man, and I, I've been in that situation. You, as a man, you do your best to try to be a father figure to those kids. But how do you like handle that? Like, how do you approach them, the kids, especially if they're like, say, they're like ten and yeah, twelve it's, it's, and stuff. You know, you, you say, you know, yeah, you know, you, you're dad, and I'm the stepdad, and mm-hmm. you know, uh, we, we try to do things together, go out, and go to the movies, and and stuff like that. Then you got to spend time with your dad, and he do things differently. Then when you come home, yes, we do things, and not only that, but the house rules mm-hmm. go be different from your daddy house exactly, rules. Exactly, because if them kids under your your where you paying bills, yes, that that's the rules, right? Yeah. And so I think when you when you run into these issues, mm-hmm. right. 
it's it's a tough job on both parties that mm-hmm. if they go be committed to doing it, it has to it, it has to be full commitment. It has to be a it's a tough job on both to make it happen. Mm-hmm. I, it, the, the, I I can it's tough it, it's tough because I, I I've been through it and uh, I yeah wow it's I, tough I yeah that's I feel like for my age me with no kids it would be very hard for me to date a guy with kids mm, that's gonna be difficult to find a guy yeah. without kids I know it's it's yeah it's like a needle in a haystack yeah. nowadays because everybody I mean. It's especially in mid twenties. Yeah. Um, most guys probably gonna have at least one child in their mid twenties. But you know, hey, listen, it, it, if you have a standard mm-hmm. that I can't, I will not date a guy with children, and that's gonna be your standard. And that's, yeah. it, I think, at your age, I believe that hey, it, it is what it is. Take yeah. your time. I feel like that's fair. But yeah, you know, it's fair. So when you when, 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 when you're dating, you know. Uh, mm-hmm. Your expectations is a guy, you know, open the door. He's yeah, pleasant. What I you expect know. from a guy, my okay, we might meet somewhere, exchange numbers or mm-hmm. whatever. Um, depends on how I'm approached. Mm. You know, yeah. If you're just approaching me on some like rushy, oh, let me get your Instagram. Da da da. No, because. Okay. It- if you're as if you like, hey, you're be- like, what's your name? You know, are you from around here? You know, or you know, compliment you, mm-hmm. exchange numbers. Maybe we can talk more sometime or something like that. But how you know find out whether or not it's real or fake? I mean, because you know, I mean, guys fake it. Like females the, fake like it. That guys first fake approach? it. The first approach. Of- okay. Well, I think like after the first approach, like if we're like kind of texting a little bit. Mm-hmm. And depending on the, how that texting goes, like if it's a if it's consistent, mm-hmm. if you're telling me good morning, mm. asking me how my day is, um, asking me you know things throughout the day or whatever we're talking throughout, it doesn't have to be all day, but you know just random. And if it's consistent, consistent, then I'm like, okay, this might be you know a cool vibe too. Be- because or, you can you know. people can only fake it for so long, right? So, exactly, but if you know somebody, and once guys are consistent in something, yeah. that's when you know, like, oh, their attention is like really here. Yeah. Which you know, still don't know what they might be doing, but you know, I mean, I I I, <laughs> I, I can tell you, but the times have changed because when we, we was coming up as guys, I mean, we we did speak to the the, the girls and we mm-hmm. gave them respect. We gave the ladies respect. We always you say, "Hey, how you doing? My name is so and so. You're beautiful today. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, you, you exchange numbers. Mm-hmm. You give them a call, y'all. You know, you you if, if you pursuing that person, you constantly calling them or you send yeah, them a text message or something like consistency, right? Yes, exactly. And from those from that, if you're you want to go on a date or something, I might take you up on it. Like depending on where you want to go. Yeah, and I mean. Back when I was dating a long time ago when I was young, uh, it was not that bad to date. Mm-hmm. Like, it was not that have, bad. Did you used to bring flowers on the first date? No, it wasn't the flowers on the first date. We we usually did, like, the movies yeah. or uh, we went to, to the parks, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the lakefront of New Orleans always used to be the hot spot mm-hmm. where you could bring somebody Look at the the water, the the sky, the breeze, and just have a conversation. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, talking. Is talking. Important. That was and man. You know, that's not something that they really do much. To that, I know just that's talk. weird. We just talk like you know, yeah. and I don't. I mean, I guess the the newer generation like talking is boring. Why should we talk and all yeah. blah 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 blah? No, it's so important. I want to know everything. And, and that's what we used to do mm-hmm. back when we was young. We used to go out to the parks. We used mm-hmm. to park and we used to talk. And mm-hmm. just enjoy this giggling and talking, and time go by so fast and and stuff like that. Yeah, and you that's that that's called getting to know the person. Yeah, you know, filling out the vibe, right. bonding. Yeah. Right, right. You know, and but nowadays, I can't tell you it's ooh. ooh. Yeah, it's very different. <laughs> but I'm not gonna lie, I expect flowers on the first day. Oh. Mm-hmm. Now I'll let it slide, ooh. maybe depending on the vibe, for real. So Walmart flowers day, are the real deal. It, it, Walmart flowers. It could be Winn Dixie. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
Rouses. <laughs> Rouses? <laughs> if you do, no, I'm okay if, with if that. Not, the it, little the, twenty dollars. Yeah, the little twenty. Go, it but does it's go the die. Thought. Okay, yeah, that's it does go die in two days. Yeah, that's fine. Now the first day, I might let you slide, but I do expect it. But the second day. If the first day went well, we're still being consistent or whatever. That second day, I want some flowers. Okay, Don't so first date, dinner, dinner, right? Dinner, dinner, yeah. flowers. What kind of restaurant? Okay, because I mean that, that's important. I mean, I mean restaurant um, go see the Chick Fil A or a McDonald's? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> um first date um first date. okay first date i wouldn't mind like a little upscale hookah spot Ooh. or like you know don't take me it's not gonna be like a bar like um, okay. like no or i don't i wouldn't want movie dates as a first date either oh because i'm gonna fall asleep i don't know you like that we just sitting next to each other in a dark watching this this movie and yeah but I, yeah, I just prefer like a dinner, like a a nice restaurant, like a newer place or something like that. So who I, pays for the date? <laughs> I'm not even bringing my wallet. I'm not even bringing my wallet. So if you're not paying, then we're not paying. <laughs> Somebody gonna be in the kitchen Somebody, watching. Somebody, and it's not gonna be me. It's not gonna be me. Would wow! It? No, yeah, I don't pay. I, I'm never. I'm not paying for any of the dates. <laughs> oh, well, not yeah. unless I ask you on a date. Ah. If I ask you on a date, then y'all pay. So I mean, because I know that, but the 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 older generation men, mm-hmm. we expect that. We say, you know what? We, I'm gonna bring you know this this young lady out to dinner. Yeah. Uh, we got our duckies, you know, we call them duckies money, <laughs> if right? If you ask a girl to pay on the first date, y'all ain't, if she ever <laughs> but, talks but, to you but after But that's that. the newer generation. I think I've seen a couple of videos where, uh, you know, uh, the, the guy separated the check. I separated the check, right? You, oh, he yeah. didn't like her. <laughs> he didn't I, I, like I mean, her. I've see, seen some videos where the guy bought the lady out to, to dinner and when the man, when the, when the way to come and, and do the checks, he said we he separated. Said split it? He said split it. Oh, that had to be a joke. It had to be stage. Because I mean, had to be. Because I mean, the girl, the girl was going. What you mean? I mean, I, I, I don't. Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah. You ask me here. <laughs> Listen, I couldn't get. I, mm. I've had I, I had this situation. It was a long, long time ago. Um, that a female call called me, and this is again for everybody in the audience. This is before her mother, yeah. by the way. Okay, and. I remember this is because he was so hilarious and I'll never forget this story that I got a call from a female asking me to go out, asked mm-hmm. me to go out. And, they, and I said, well, that's fine. I said, well, where you want to go? To the casino. And, you know, at the casino, they, they got the buffet, so they got the bars. You to go out. Yeah. Okay. To the casino. So I was like, OK, you know, I'm looking at the watch clock is after midnight. You know, casinos open 24 hours. They got the bar. They always have little bands playing and stuff like that. Maybe she knows something that I don't know. Yeah. So okay, we I go pick she the young. She wanted you to trick. I, I picked her up, <laughs> and we went. We went to the casino, and when I walked in the casino, I I, I wasn't at that point. I wasn't gambling at that point. Mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, I might put a few quarters in a slot machine or whatever. I ain't tripping. But the young lady said, okay, we here. Um, are you gonna give me money f- to play the slot machine? I'm like, well, hold on. You you invited me to mm-hmm. a casino and you want me to give you money so you can play? <laughs> yeah, that's that, the setup. <laughs> oh, man. And I, I was like, well, no. I mean, I'm It not, would be different if you offered her to go to the casino, but she called I could you not up, believe like, that. Hey. That that was a short date. Yeah. That was a date where as I said, well, you know what? It's time for us to go. Mm-hmm. Cause that wasn't part of your plan. That, I mean, you invited me. Mm-hmm. Why you right? You invite me to the casino, mm-hmm. and you want me to give you cash money in hand so you could yeah. play the slot machines. Yeah, I I, 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 I couldn't believe. It. I'm thinking. I'm thinking that we just go sit at the bar, maybe listen to the live band. Yeah, uh, but uh, you to know, gamble. If she wanted to gamble, she could pull out her own money to gamble. I'll right, pay for the right, food. Right. I'll pay for the drinks. Right, and that's. Yeah. You know, but I wasn't paying for. I'm not paying for you. And that was the that <laughs> that that was the last time I ever saw that young lady. Yeah, um. <laughs> well, yeah, the wrong one, miss. Oh my god. Oh. 
Yeah. But even even back in the day, women made a ton of mistakes, mm-hmm. right? I mean, they, they they try to manipulate men. They try to yeah. see, see if they, a man could trick. You know, they call them well, tricks. Well, they and stuff. still do. Okay. It's real bad now. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's real bad. Yeah. But I. But here's what I. The scary part about the new dating scene with the youngsters mm-hmm. is that they always like to take videos and photos of themselves and upload them quickly. Mm-hmm. And you can't really get an inter- intimate moment or a a yeah. conversation when everybody would do. You won't take yeah, a selfie. Yeah, you take you know? a girl on a date, she getting content. <laughs> <laughs> New restaurants. <laughs> new restaurants. And the, 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 my new man. My new man. Oh, she probably all. not going to post a man. Oh, oh. Yeah, the girls are smart nowadays. We ain't, we not going to post them because the social media is too messy. Like, uh. you post a man. You could post a pinky. Uh. Somebody going to send it to somebody who know. Mm. See, and especially in the city. The city is too small. So, if... if this say this you know they got a lot of married men mm-hmm. that get caught like that too mm-hmm. you know i've seen you know yes. married men get caught yes. bad a and woman honestly that's what they get because yeah I mean, you think about it, they, they take, you know... Because what you doing? Right, they, they're at the restaurant and all of a sudden they got, they're taking a picture of themselves and mm-hmm. and most likely it, the the females is kind of vindictive. And in guys their, are so predictable. <laughs> like, guys are so predictable. You know a guy go to a certain place. Guys go to like, the, once they get comfortable somewhere, they're going to keep kind of going to that place. Over and over. Kinda, you know, and they're going to take different girls probably to stay oh, in place. Oh, wow. So a girl posted up in that that place, and you like, oh, oh that no. look like that restaurant. <laughs> and then Let she posted her food, uh, <laughs> and you might see the drink that he always oh. get in the background. Then mm. boom, you then put two or two together. Now you know who she messing with, oh, or who man. she dating. Oh, and it man. could be the same person they, your they, friend yeah. or you dating. <laughs> Mm-mm. Oh my God! So what it's is the an- what is the answer to these questions? Like I I just I can keep asking it's questions annoying. over and over about the how 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 do y'all younger generation make it? Well, okay, I would say majority of my generation right now mm-hmm. they're not dating for a purpose mm-hmm. right now. You know? Okay. Some people are actively looking for husbands or wives so they're dating intentionally they're approaching women who might fit what they see as a wife or as a woman that they want to spend you know that in the same for girls we're looking you know some that people, special guy right, right um that might seem to fit those qualifications you might want somebody who's a graduate college graduate or something or might be already in their career field or or whatever you have standards you have right so i but majority i feel like of our generation we aren't dating with purpose we're just having fun (sighs) that's what this generation gives nowadays outside and that is the clubs the hookah and the (sighs) the lounges and stuff like that the party and the concerts the everything Mm. Everybody's just good time, like not a long time type thing. Wow. And it's very hard to find people who are serious about relationships nowadays. Wow. You really have to like pick their brains, you know. Should you do all it's of that tough. before you go on a date? Like, should you make those kind of talk, pick talk on a, a yeah? Well, uh, a lot of times, guys lie a oh. lot. <laughs> <laughs> so let's, let's start there. Let's to the guy. Yeah. So I think guys usually, if you say like kind of what you're looking for and it's a more serious thing, mm. like initially they're kind of looking at the situation differently immediately because they're like, okay, she's she's talking about something serious. Mm-hmm. So I need to get in like a serious mode if I want to deal with her, right? Yeah. So of course he's gonna tell you what, he, what you want to hear. What you want to hear, <laughs> you know? So it's it takes and it takes a while to kind of pick that apart, and it, that's what sucks because it takes a while yeah. to pick it apart and see like where this person's head really is and if they're being genuine or not, or if they're just wasting your time. It's very hard to <sighs> decipher, but. 
Yeah, you just gotta. It. I could tell you, I, I am so glad <laughs> that I'm married. I am so glad that I don't have to deal with this newer generation yeah. or. I feel I, like I, it if just, you're married, uh, yes, absolutely. If you're married and you've been married for years or whatever, even if you're newly married, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> for dear life. Because the streets and the dating scene, it just, it's really, it sucks. Oh, I'm not going to lie. Unless you want to be used oh. and, you know, mm. not genuine mm. you know then i guess go for it oh my if you're in that pool but you know oh it's it's, it's just so weird power to you it's it's so weird that we um uh, that the conversation is like and, and for everybody that's listening to this podcast um i'm gonna tell you that the stuff that she said i i'm like i'm so new to this right because I, I, I'm so stuck on my old ways. I'm stuck on how mm-hmm. we used to do it back in the, the early 90s and, you know, stuff like I that. I wish guys did still write love letters. And stuff. Oh, and you know what? I've done that. Like yeah. when I was in high school. Yeah. I used to write love letters. And, I have you know, like and, a whole and, box that, full of love letters. Oh. Yeah, I love love letters. That's, that, 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 but stuff. that's where you know a yeah. guy's hard at. Yeah. I mean, do, do the youngsters even write? <laughs> I've, I've recently gotten some love letters. Oh, that was, very was it sweet. a text message digitally or yeah, written? It was see, a text message. See, that's the thing. I think I the think written, written yeah, is so. That's, but that's that's when a person is sitting down yeah. at, at a table and writing something yeah. because he, he he got it on his mind and yeah, he, he and it's write, so heavy. Dog, oh, that yeah. that is. Because pouring it pouring it out on paper is totally different from, from, from texting. Texting, right? It. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so yeah, but it was but it was very 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 sweet. I'm not gonna lie, it was very sweet. Uh, and, and a lot of people are like, well, well, how you know how could how could somebody write to how how, how they go mail it to you? Like how, you don't know the address. But you know, if if you take the time to mail it, that oh, would man. be like. That's that's instant, like right? what? I, yeah. It, it, uh, see, guys, see they they game that, nowadays just be all off that kind of stuff. That's how you get wait, a girl. Well, you think that they, it, you know, they have the. Do you think that the guys try to be all macho and hard and, instead that'll of never win? Now you that'll never win instead of being the sincere, nice. Yeah. You know, uh, yeah. because I mean, think about it. I mean, when you're in a relationship. I mean, the guy had to come to a, a level of compassion, mm-hmm. love. Mm-hmm. Uh, you but know. that sweet, you have to be kind and sweet and nice kind. and yeah. all that from jump. From jump. And, and, and listen, for, I believe that that doesn't make a, a guy no less than a man if he's Absolutely nice, not. if he's sweet. If, if he you know, is, I don't think that makes you more of a. But no, they won't be macho. You, and they no, will, you know, they, that's a red flag when yeah, guys yeah. are like. Like cocky and arrogant and mm. kind of slick side mean and stuff. Red flags, red flags. I stay away from men like that. But okay, so uh, and I know what probably some of the comments might come in and say, <laughs> "Well, why do a man have to spend all his money to wind and dine a woman, and we don't even know it's a sure thing?" It's not even about spending a whole lot of money. It's about consistency. Yeah, but if you're bringing somebody to on a date. On a, on a and it day, doesn't even have to be those kind of. I I would prefer you know just you know. I mean because you said first date. I felt like right first, first date, date dinner dinner right cool. Okay. Second date doesn't have to be dinner or okay. something super spectacular or whatever. It could be something cute or and just thoughtful. Yeah. It could be a going to the park. You know, maybe getting some fruit or whatever and like. Asking each other questions or painting but, but something. You, but, or, but 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 do you think that if um, a, a a guy might think a woman may perceive him to be weak if he's he coming in a little you know a little more genuine, a little sweeter, a little like you know uh, talking a little more softer he, or whatever? You think that a woman? If was, she does, then, then that's, that's the wrong problem. girl. That's the wrong. That's girl. the wrong girl. Then she must be looking for a 
somebody mm. out tr- the beater. out the hood, you know, <laughs> like, with the, the loud car, just the doing, the car, most, yeah, just doing the, the most, pan, you know, all uh, of that extra stuff and talking to her crazy or whatever, whatever. That, if that's what you, then that's, that's the wrong girl for you. If uh, you feel like a man like that is weak or too soft or no. Uh, wow. A guy that's in tune with his feelings nowadays is a gem. And it, it, I'm sure they, the guys because are not like that no more. Like, they're it's very r- It's few, rare. Very rare. It's rare. And honestly, a, a lot of guys can be like that. It's just they've been in a dating scene so long. Mm-hmm. They've numbed their... They don't think girls that want to see that side of them exist. Mm-hmm. So when they come across somebody who is, like, you know, into... Emotion, that emotional side and, and stuff like that or where your mental, you know, is and stuff like that, yeah. it kind of catches them off guard. It, it, they have to get in a whole nother mode because they're just so used to that, those in and out relationship or situationships and, or, you know, probably just, just, you know, short term stuff. Yeah. Temporary stuff, you know. So we 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 about to hit the weekend, and we had yeah. to almost at the top of the hour. Mm-hmm. So what's on the docket for you this weekend? Like I know every, the weekend coming, and it's I, I know you. Uh, this weekend, well, tomorrow I'm gonna go out with my girls. Ah. We're gonna go um, to dinner at this new restaurant called Jolie's. Ooh, mm-hmm. really? Yeah. So we're gonna try that out. Cause let me know because I mean I yeah. I probably bring your mind. Yeah, that'd be cute. Yeah, you know, I think it's like always, a steakhouse. She always telling me yeah. we got to find somewhere new to go. Yes, yes. yes and yes, I, yes. and I'll be like, you know, I, because all right. So I tried. Well, I tried try something new. I tried this place, and I did, it just didn't. It the did. food is not that great. Oh, okay. Yes, you know? and you know it's like that when you're trying new places and stuff like that. That's why you you do. Have to look up, get on TikTok. There you go. And look we up the to, restaurant because I can promise you there's going to be a video about the restaurant. We went to Dookie Chase a couple of months ago. Oh, how was that? Oh, man. Oh, if you ever come to, it, 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 everybody listen to me. <laughs> if you ever come to New Orleans, right, you got to set a reservation for Dookie Chase. Mm-hmm. But you have to go to Dookie. It, it's it's a, a tradition in, in New Orleans. It's one of the... Uh, top tier restaurants in New Orleans. It's called Ducky Chase. Did you know the owner just passed? I know away? he passed away. And yeah. You know what? When we went to Ducky Chase, we you got a picture. With we got him, a picture right? with him, yeah. right? We got a picture with him. He talked to us yeah. and everything he else. He had a slice went, of cake too. He had a slice of cake. Yeah. And it was so weird that when I heard he passed away, mm-hmm. I, I, and the That's first thing sad. popped in my head was I just talked to the guy. Mm-hmm. I mean, he, he was in high spirits. He, mm-hmm. I mean, he's an old. He was an older guy, but he was high spirits, and it was. Just so it was, oh man, it, it hurt me because I'm like, wow, we just mm-hmm. talked to the guy not so long ago and he passed away. Yeah. So, uh, um, I've always heard very good things. Oh, uh, the I had the oh wow, I had the um, uh, the pork chop, mm-hmm. they got this pew, this this pork chop, this mm-hmm. pork chop, smothered pork chop with all kinds of stuff on top of it. It has a oh, like onions and stuff, yeah, but it, it has a, a little sweet stuff on it. It's a little sweet, but it, it's not. Like a a sweet sweet, but it's mm-hmm. it's great, and it comes with uh, the sides mm-hmm. is good, and, and it's nice and tender. It's great. Mm. Oh wow, it was so good. Because mm. my favorite uh, place is the Boulevard. I go to we oh, go yeah, to the, the Boulevard, Boulevard and we get good food, um, mm-hmm. good steaks, good uh, good food. Mm-hmm. But to get chase the atmosphere, it get it it gives you a New Orleans vibe, Mardi Gras, because they have Mardi Gras uh, uh, stuff all over the place, and and um. It's a very good restaurant, but mm-hmm. the place you going to tomorrow this weekend, I I I, I want to hear a, a full report. Yeah, and, well, uh, <laughs> I'll have one because I'm good for writing a review. Yeah, because <laughs> I sure. want to, you know, because uh, I I told I told your mama say you know we got to uh, try the places. She been telling me we got to go to New Orleans. You know, got to go to New Orleans and try mm-hmm. this and try Especially that. Especially for brunch spots because they've been having a lot of new brunch spots in the city. Mm-hmm. Um, that are really good that I've been uh, hearing a lot about. They have this new place called Cracked. Cracked? Yeah. It's called Cracked, but 
If you go in there, it's so nice. Mm. Like, it's super cute. It's super cute. I loved it. Um, I got the shrimp and grits from there. Ooh. The only thing, it was good, but the only thing I hate when I order shrimp and grits <sighs> and the tail. Oh, the tail. Why they do that? Why they like, don't take the tail off uh, uh, of the uh, the and shrimp? I, I literally refuse to peel that shrimp. Uh, <laughs> they, I'm like, I'm not. A lot like, of Zia's do that, too, that when you get the shrimp and grits. They, they do the grits and put the shrimp on it, but they got the yeah. tail on it. You got to take the tail yeah. off. That just, that don't make no sense. Yeah. It, it's like you you can't enjoy it. Like you get a good a fork full and you put mm. it in your mouth. You got that tail. Yeah. You got the left. The, I don't the, know why they the do shit. that. They leave the shell on it, guys. That's what happens. I don't know why they do that. And that <sighs> sucks. Because yeah, it's so that, good, but it takes it away. It doesn't make the meal as enjoyable. Yeah. it's like, I have shells got on my Got shells shrimp. on my shrimp. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. And they put the shrimp Sometimes they put the shrimp on on it, or they put uh-huh. it on the side, and yeah, you kind of mix it all messy. up. It's, yeah. it's, it's, oh yeah. man, yeah, but it, it was good though. Yeah, um, really aesthetically pleasing place. Yeah, it's very nice, very nice, very nice. Love I know. It, I think it's time. I I, I, I know your mama kind of mentioned this a couple of times about vacation. Oh yes, it's, it's time, time for us a vacation. It's time. You know, I've been wanting to go to Tulum. Ooh. Mm-hmm. I've been here or Turks. Turks is a little bit more. Yeah. But yeah, I've been wanting. To I just, I just want to just. Uh, to me, I don't care where we go. <laughs> we just get in the truck and go. Yeah, well, like, this is Mexico. <laughs> I know you guys Mexico, <laughs> but I, I was like, I just want to get in the truck and yeah. go. Like, and, you know, us, us men. Well, when you, you get know, we, my, my age, you know, favorite we getaway place is Miami. Oh, we went to Miami. Mm-hmm. No, we didn't go to Miami. We went to um Y'all went to Miami too though. We went there. We can we did go to Miami. That's right. We went to yeah. Miami. I love it. We went on the beach, the the, the beach front. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, that was so it was yeah. like Bourbon Street because they have uh-huh. a strip. Mm-hmm. Oh, it was so great. It's a strip. This is just a, a bigger and you know. Yeah. And the beach was right there mm-hmm. and oh all the malls. All the malls so, and everything. Yeah, it was oh, I my love God. Miami vibe. Think That's you right. Haven't been to Miami. Me, go to Miami. Just tell you this story. Me and your mama, we went to when well, we went to Miami, and uh, uh, we rented a Mustang, mm-hmm. a, a yellow Mustang uh, drop top. Aww. Oh, we so I cute. dropped that top, and we just hit that interstate, and we mm-hmm. was gone. <laughs> we was gone, and yeah. we went all the way to the strip, and we went to the beach, and we had the drop top, and oh man, Aww. we had oh that was so much fun. Yeah, that's so. Cute. We, it, it was just so unfortunate that we was out there for business. Oh yeah, because uh, we went convention. out there for SoFlo, and uh, right. we went out there for business. And even though we was out there for business, we still had a few moments that mm-hmm. we was able to, to go yeah, see enjoy, and enjoy. Stuff. Yeah. Now the food for wasn't sure. that great. Oh, okay. Because I mean, we so I'm used to, to New Orleans food. Yeah, I'm trying to remember. Oh, you know what? I've been to Miami a few times because my dentist is in Miami, too. Mm. So I go back and forth. I tried this barbecue spot and it was horrible. (laughs) You have to have a quiet taste when you go to different cities. It was horrible. (laughs) Like I was so disappointed. I I had just left the dentist. I'm just so hungry. Mm -hmm. And I ordered a food. It was terrible. Uh, I mean, uh, well, you know, in, in in New Orleans, they the flavor is totally mm-hmm. different from anywhere yeah, else, it is. right? Uh, they add a lot of spices. They add a lot yeah. of seasoning, and some people say it's too salty sometimes. But it's yeah, uh, or too it, spicy, or too spicy. Yeah. But when you go anywhere else, right? It's it just doesn't, doesn't taste the same. Now, yeah. I, I used we to, do definitely have the best food. This was a yeah. big debate on Twitter too recently. Oh, yeah, because a celebrity came out here and said that the food was horrible, mm-hmm. and everybody was like, "Boy, they got the best food!" <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> and he listed like a few places that he tried, and most of them was like. It wasn't the places that we go to, you know. It's like more touristy places mm. or well, popular that's why got, places that that's, tourists. Yeah, that's that's why he didn't go to the down yeah. home. He didn't go to the yeah. hood uh, place. Mm-hmm. He look. He didn't go to the place where they have uh, 
somebody give it, uh, selling food out the back of their house. Yeah, that'd be the best food, though. <laughs> yep. That'd you know, be the best food. Right down for, uh, for or, Clayvon yeah. Avenue, man. Uh, yeah. And especially, like, downtown at night. Uh, <laughs> yeah. The, <laughs> like, they really do the have, food like... Trucks. Food All trucks. over the place. They have like Birdie Mark. Birdie Mark. Oh. Cleo's. Ooh. Have you ever had Cleo's? Uh, we, I haven't had Cleo's. Cleo's is good. Me and your mom just had Birdie Mark yeah. about a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. And when we, what happened was your wife, uh, your mom would say, you know what? I got a taste for Birdie Mark. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, okay, Once cool. Once you have a taste for one of their sandwiches, it's like, it's a, a certain <laughs> kind of taste, like, <laughs> It, it's a sandwich called All That Jazz, mm-hmm. right? If you ever come uh, here. Get all that jazz. I'm telling you, if you ever come to New it's Orleans, so, it's, you you'll find never a place forget the taste. called Verde Mark. And try a sandwich that's called All That Jazz. They put three kinds of meats on there. They put mm-hmm. shrimp on there. They put different kinds of cheese on there. Now, the, the store sauces, is small, right? They put sauces on there. Small. It's a small store, but it's right outside of the French Quarters. Yeah. Uh, and if you are in the French quarters, just say if you park you with the Verde Mark, you can walk to Bourbon Street and jog, yeah. get your hurricane and get, get you a couple of drinks drink. and, and go to the, the, the bars. They got live yes. bands and stuff like that. So Verde Mark is definitely a place. The only problem I have with Verde Mark is that if you are a tourist coming to New Orleans and you go to Verde Mark, there's nowhere to sit. Yeah, it's not one of those places. Right, it's not one, it's of, those one places. of those places. You go in, order your food, walk out. Kill but, time, but they open twenty four hours. Twenty four hours, and so that's, that's the key. so perfect. Uh, like a drunken night, a drunken night. You see, I go go to Verde Ball, get yeah. you a good sandwich, and uh, oh, oh, I man. like to go too. Like when I'm down there, mm-hmm. I'll crave oysters, and uh, I want to go to Oceana. Oceana Grill, so good, and I, their ribs is good too. Rockefeller. Ooh. I had a Rockefeller at Oceana yeah. Grill, and oh my god, to die for, so good, to die for. So I'm and telling the chicken. you. The chicken is good mm-hmm. too. I don't think your mom ever ate there before Oceana? because mm-hmm. I've been down it's there. If I ate there. Yeah. It's on bourbon, right? <laughs> I, listen, I, I, for, Bourbon Street is totally different. I remember me and a guy, uh, one of my partners, uh, TK, came down and uh, we went to Bourbon Street mm-hmm. and we had a blast of a time. Uh, Bourbon Street was so clean. It looked so, I mean, everything. They, They've they, been doing a really doing good job. A lot. The they rats keep it clean. Cra- right. The rats are crazy. That's yeah. why. But they've been doing a really, a good, job really good job at keeping it clean. They yeah. clean it every day. We sometimes, I, we still be outside when they clean the streets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because it's, it's, you can party till the sun come yeah. up. Yeah. That's literally party. how it is. Yeah. I actually, I, I, I actually was so impressed when I went to Bourbon Street because it was so clean. Because mm-hmm. the last Last time I had went to Bourbon Street was years and years ago, yeah, and it was terrible. filthy. It was terrible, and it didn't look that great. It smelled you pretty bad. Piss. Right, piss all over the place. But now nah, it's totally different. Yeah, and I like I, it's, it, it's, it's very very good. People are now taking care of business, and it, it is a great place yeah. to visit. Yeah, now, a lot better. I would tell you that if you go come down here, you get the hotel right on Bourbon Street, or they uh, uh, off of that. Uh, I mean, two two blocks down off of maybe on Decatur or somewhere like that, you get a hotel. Oh yeah, Decatur and, is uh is really yes, becoming nice. like the new Bourbon type street. Yes. Yeah, they've been opening a lot of new spots and um, food and bars Ooh. and stuff like that. They have a restaurant called Song Chong on the corner of Decatur. Oh, it's really good. And, and you know what I found that uh, you know when you go to a lot of different cities, one of the biggest problems is parking. I love the way how <sighs> downtown has all these parking lots where you can park, pay. You know, they you do. pay mm-hmm. right. But you 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 good, mm-hmm. and and now you, you park on Decatur, mm-hmm. and you walk from Decatur to Ivyville to Bourbon, and mm-hmm. and you, this that the whole area, yeah, the whole area you is part of spot. You gonna have a ball, for it, sure. And you, you got to go to it's so um, many different spots. It's so many different vibes. And you go to what you call it? Get your beignets. Oh, cafe. Ah, uh, cafe Duma. Mm-hmm. That's right. Yeah. Wow. And good hot chocolate. Ooh. The beignets, they make them fresh. Fresh, yes. Wow. So good. So, so, so good. Uh, but I tell you, well, all that stuff, people go like, why y'all making me yeah. hungry? I, I, but because I know a Yo, lot of people have That's all we do is drink and eat out here <laughs> and party. <laughs> and party. Drink, this, eat, party. That's all. This <laughs> New is, Orleans. This is probably the second 
party state besides Vegas. Uh, yeah. Because, you know, New Orleans, you could party 24 hours. Uh, they don't yes. really have no restrictions on, you know, drinking and all that stuff like that. You know, they... If and when we say party 24 hours... They, they party 24 hours. Literally, you can go outside Friday night at, say, 10 p.m. and party until Saturday. Or uh, Sunday. Or Sunday. <laughs> Morning. I I remember I was uh, I used to party so much. Um, I went to this this bar called Seal Seal Place, okay. right? That's off of um, Saint Bernard and Galvis uh-huh. in New Orleans. They got a little hole in the wall bar, and I went there one night. And I tell you what, I drank my butt off. Have good time. They had a live band and stuff. And all of a sudden, the I, the, the 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 bar is always dark, you know, yeah. dark. And I went outside, and it was daylight. Yes. It was the sun was hitting, me. and they started selling coffee. Hits. They're like, "You want a coffee?" <laughs> I'm like, "Coffee? I need to go home." That's when reality hits. When you walk out the club and you see the sun up. Yeah, like, when you walk out the club, I've I've been I've what? been I walked out. I remember me and my brother. We went hung out a couple of times, and we walk out the bar. The sun was out. I'm like, yeah. we're looking at the clock. It's like 6 a.m. in the morning. And you wouldn't even think. You wouldn't you even think. Party it's, like, party. Ah. it's always, a, a, what's the next spot? See, that's the problem. <laughs> we don't never know when to go home. <laughs> we, don't, we, don't, we, don't, we don't go home. What would be the problem? We'll go to one spot, then, oh, we're going to go here for yeah. a little while. We're going to slide through that. Then it's a whole vibe <laughs> there. <laughs> then everybody's going to go to this next spot. The next thing you know, it's 4.30. Oh. We're like, oh, well, let's just go to this little spot, grab some food. Waffle House. Right, Waffle House, yeah, but there's so many places that just be open, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like you don't even really go to a Waffle, but they do have Waffle House on Canal. Some people yeah, do crave Waffle 24 House. Twenty four hours, it yeah, it, it's so weird, man. That uh, you get used to partying like a rock star, yeah. And when you go to another city, they yeah, close the so bars weird. at like one, two yeah. o'clock. You be like, wow, why is closing so early? They're well, looking at you crazy. Yeah, look at crazy. Like, wait, I'm, I'm ready to party. Like, yeah. it's two o'clock in the party. Can we get started? And that's one thing about out here. Like, <laughs> yes, for sure. Out here, they don't close the clubs when they're supposed to close the clubs. Right, they, they still open. I've been in a club in Atlanta, and I'm talking about a big club. Mm-hmm. I think it's um, a metro or something like that. A big, big club. We partying, partying, partying. We looking at the time, like, but the every it's still lit in yeah, here, so we ain't thinking they really gonna shut it down for real. Georgia police came in there and shut it down. They turned all the lights on. Wow, it just, it just, ooh, yo. When I tell you is... that, just killed about like <laughs> music stop at mid dance. And that, so everybody got to go. Yeah. Wow. It's like party over. That's just Man. it. Ain't no. Damn. Well, you know. Well, but you know. But out here, they would it, never. But, uh, <laughs> if y'all still buying liquor <laughs> and the, right. it's still rolling, then there ain't no. Mm-mm. Man, man, man. I'm going to tell you, it, it, uh, it's fun. But mm-hmm. I tell you, time go by so fast. We're right at the top of the hour. And it's it going to be pretty interesting next week, y'all, to hear yes. her, uh, Erica's. Weekend, weekend yeah. right? To hear a weekend, how she parted like a rock star, oh, right? And uh, it's gonna be pretty interesting. Not no Nicki Minaj this week, no. and uh, cause she canceled, but uh, hey man, it's all good fun, man. Mm-hmm. Now, look, I tell you, I really enjoy these podcasts, and Me too. That, we have that, a lot more to talk about. I know, listen, y'all have no idea. Make sure y'all. Uh, follow Erica on her IG and all her social media. Yes, at Erica Walker. Erica with an extra A, Walker. Yes. Same on all platforms. Yes. And uh, make sure y'all watch these live videos on YouTube. And uh, it's bad. It's just, it's just so much fun. Yes. Laid back. Yeah. And, I finished uh, my drink. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we going to yes, get yes. on out of here, y'all. Bye. We gonna get on out of here. We gonna see y'all next week. Same bad place, same bad time. That's what I'm talking about. Father, daughter, uncut. I love it. Absolutely. Too, love I it. love it too. <laughs> Bye guys. Bye. <laughs> yes, indeed. That's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. I see. I like vibing off this stuff, man. This is some pretty stuff. But we gonna get on out of here. We gonna see y'all next week, y'all. Later.